In this video, I'm going to show you how to export all your passwords and data from a skeleton key in a way that you can then import it into, for example, LastPass. So firstly, open up Safari, go to my website, splinter.com.au, find this link to my GitHub account, then click on skeleton key. Now this is where the source code for skeleton key is. Find skeleton export.rb. This is a little script that um, exports in a LastPass compatible way. You can have a brief read through if you want to, you know, just see that it's legitimate if, uh, if you can read source code. Now right click on the raw link and do download and download it to your desktop. Right, now you can close Safari. Next, go into your Dropbox folder, go into apps, then skeleton key, and you should have a bunch of files looking like this. Now these are all uh, encrypted files, so we need to run these through the script so that they can then be imported in this last pass. So right click that, or control click, if you don't have a two button mouse, do copy and paste it to your desktop. Next drag the skeleton export in. So you should have everything in the same folder. Next you need to launch the terminal. So go to applications, utilities, terminal. All right, I'll bump the font size up, hopefully that's readable. Now go CD space desktop. Now you, all you need to do is type desk and then hit tab and it automatically completes it for you. Then CD space scale, do the tab trick again. Now do LS and that lists the folder. As you can see all the files are there. So let's run the skeleton export one. All right, so this has fired up the script. Uh, you can read here to see how to use it. So the trick is to run this in the same folder as all your files, which we've, we're ready to go with that. If you're on Windows, you can run it like this. If you're on a Mac like I am, you run it like this. Now see, I didn't use that pipe PB copy. So I'll have to just do control C to quit that. And now I will run it like this. So I'll select that, Command C to copy, and then Command V to paste. Now it's going to ask me, ask me for my skeleton key master password. In my case, it's super secret. Wait a while, and now it's done. So read these instructions. It is exported in a LastPass format, but the format will probably work with one password as well, if you'd like to try that. So I go into the LastPass interface, do click on the More Options link, and then the Advanced link, and then the Import link, and then Generic CSV file, and then paste the contents of your clipboard in there. I'll show you what it'll look like. So let's open up this. This is just a random text editor and do command V to paste. And as you can see, here's, here's what it's generated. Here's my Facebook password. It goes without saying, this isn't my real password. So don't try anything. And that's a Twitter example password. So that's now on the, on the pasteboard or clipboard. So you can paste that anywhere you want. The idea being that you would follow the instructions in here and paste it into the last pass import interface. Now there'll probably be an equivalent import interface into one password 
but uh, I don't use one password, so I'm not sure what that link is. All right, so that should do you. Thanks a lot for watching, and uh, my apologies that um, after all these years, Skeleton Key wasn't a commercial success. Uh, that's unfortunate, and um, unfortunately, I can't continue investing in it. But uh, I really hope that this helps you out. Thanks, and have a great week.